Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with another video. All right, y'all, this is a Thursday deal of the week. As you see the uh, preview video there, uh, not preview video, preview uh, picture. I got an awesome equipment coming up in just a few minutes here. But first, I need to do my old school soul food shout outs. I'm always getting things in the mail. I got a fly in my house, and I don't want to be shouting out no fly. But uh, let's get started here. Got a few letters in the mail and a few uh, uh, gifts from y'all, old school soul food family members, which I really appreciate. The first one's here from Mary Dukes out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids, Michigan. She sent me a nice prayer card here. Uh, um, let me show you the card. I can show you that. Look at that nice prayer card there on the back also. I love this card. I'm going to frame this. Have to hang. Oh, I got it upside down, y'all. Sorry about that. See that? Yeah, she sent me a nice prayer card and she sent me a nice letter here. Says she's been viewing my program for a few months and it's been a blessing. Says she learned a lot from me. I ain't gonna go over the whole letter. But uh yeah, she wrote a nice sweet thing. I really appreciate that, Mary. Mary Dukes out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Thank you for the prayer card. I always always definitely appreciate that. You know, prayer changes things and keeps things great things going. Okay, I got another one here. We see a nice letter here from uh, from uh, Jones D. Out of right down the road, three hours down the road in San Antonio, Texas, Jones D. And she sent me a a, a nice letter here. I did receive your letter, dated June six six. So I did appreciate this nice letter you sent me, and a very very educational letter. I'm not gonna go through the letter. Like I said, I don't read. People let her, cause a lot of people, uh, you know, disrespect their privacy, you know. Okay, Lisa, I love you. She, this lady's an awesome family member, uh, old school soul food family member for a long, long time. Carbondale, Illinois. He sent a nice card here for my mom, and I ain't know for my mom. I guess she told me she's gonna send me something for my mom. You know, my mom been kind of sick, and she sent like a little uh, card for her. I'm going to show that to her and then a nice little letter there. But Lisa, you're amazing. My mom, she, I can't pronounce your name. She can kind of pronounce your name. She said, how you say that? I say Sazu, Saza? I don't know, mama. And she tried to say it. You got a difficult name to pronounce, but we, I definitely know who you are. You're always in the lives. You're always very active on the Facebook family, YouTube family. Yeah, I really appreciate you as always. Okay, next couple of items here. Y'all know I love my Dallas Cowboy. Y'all know I'm recently a Dallas Cowboy. That was a goal of mine to be a Dallas Cowboy season ticket holder and go to every game, every preseason game, the playoff games, everything. You have a, a parking pass perks and all that. So that was a goal of mine to in my life is growing up as a kid, watching them in the old Texas Stadium and stuff like that, to one day be able to have season tickets to Dallas Cowboys, be able to have my company, have a business where I'm able to buy tickets to every game, and I have to buy them online from other seats, which triple the price if you do it online from other people. So I was blessed to be able to get that done, but I got a gift here. I got a couple of them, but this one here comes from uh, from uh, Don out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Did I just get a letter from here too? Y'all know my mind is, uh, my mind be messed up now. I've gotten some stuff from Don before, but look at this, it's a cutting board. You know I ain't just cutting nothing on this. Kenna sent me one a few years ago. It's awesome. Cutting is the actual cutting board, y'all. If y'all uh, wonder what it is. But I'm going to hang this somewhere in my office. Look at that. Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys cutting board. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I got one more to show y'all. Now, whoever sent this, I don't have a gift receipt. I don't have no name on this one. The next one I'm going to show y'all. I don't have a clue. So if you sent this to me, Please let me know because I like to acknowledge people that send me things and to show them that I appreciate everything that they send me and to kind of give them a shout out. If you want to remain anonymous, that's fine. But I at least want to acknowledge you by email or whatever that I did receive it, of course, and that I appreciate it. And look at this, y'all. This is Dallas Cowboy 2. But it's Dallas Cowboy. Oh, Lord. I got the hook down there. That's a hang up. Floor mats. Look at that. Can y'all see that? I have to back the camera up. Look at that. Floor mats. 
Now, I don't know if I'm gonna put these in one of my vehicles, have people stepping all on the Dallas Cowboy logo, cause that's disrespect when you step on the star. Ask Terrell Owens about that. But uh, yeah, so I don't know if I'm gonna just hang this in my office, but I don't know, maybe I'll put in a vehicle that very seldom drive a lot, so it won't get too dirty. So I've been trying to think, am I gonna put it in my vehicle, am I gonna hang it up or what? But yeah, I really appreciate this. Uh, like I say, if you sent this to me, let me know so I can acknowledge you and at least tell you that I appreciate it. And uh, like I say, y'all, I'm overwhelmed all the time when I get all this. Uh, go check my mailbox and so many things in there for me. And sometimes some things for mom, even some stuff for Dylan sometimes in the, in the box. So I really appreciate that. So y'all hang tight here. I got an awesome old school soap with Dylan the week coming up. Something I've been using in my house for three years. I keep it in my house for three years. I already have one. The company reached out to me. So I've been kind of going back and forth trying to get a major discount code for this because it is kind of pricey, but it's awesome equipment to have in your house. And I'm gonna explain to you why. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Y'all see this thing? I got one of these already. I keep in my office upstairs and in the summertime I bring it down because this is an ice maker y'all it makes chip ice which I'm gonna show y'all I'm gonna actually demonstrate this to y'all it's gonna fill this thing up in about an hour but I'm gonna get to that in a second reason I like this thing I don't have an ice maker in my refrigerator I don't know I got the old school refrigerator and the ice makers break down they get hung up and you got the salesman I'm mean, not sell repairman coming out my brother's dealing with that right now he got a ice, uh, he got a uh, refrigerator, ain't even two or three years old. He's already dealing with the ice maker, bro. They're not consistent. It just don't flow right. These are the best way to go. Now, let, let me tell you this from the start. These things aren't cheap. Some of these retail for 450 bucks. Let me tell you now, with the discount code and all that, I'm going to share with y'all, description in the video, you're going to pay about a little bit over 200 bucks, maybe 220 bucks for this thing. But this is the only ice maker you ever need, I'm telling y'all. I have one upstairs in my office. I use this when I make smoothies. Then depending on what kind of water, I'm gonna get to that too. Most time I use tap water. If I'm making homemade ice cream, y'all see me making homemade ice cream? This the ice I use in my freezer. I got a big one and make bigger chunks. This one here, it's mostly for smoothie, which I use the uh, gallon jugs of water you buy at the store. I don't want to use tap water when I make my smoothies. And I'll put it in here. If I let this thing run all day, keep taking it out, dumping it, and put more in there, you can make 44 pounds of ice in you a day. I don't go through that much ice, so I just let it kind of sit in there. And it'll hold it to a certain temperature. It won't hold it really, 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 really frozen. And it'll kind of melt a little. Whatever water it melts, it just regurgitates and it'll keep raking the ice. And I'll show y'all here in a minute here. But let me turn it on first and kind of show you. And one thing I actually love about this thing, y'all, that it cleans itself. Not cleans itself. It has a cleaning mechanism on it. The old ones, you had to manually clean it and all that. This one, you can actually clean this. So you definitely, I like to clean mine at least once a month. So you don't get no mold and mildew and all that in there because that'll defeat the purpose. And you can set the timer on this. Usually take about an hour and a half to make the ice. When I set the timer, I usually do it for two hours just in case I don't get to it in an hour and this kind of starts melting or whatever. Not melting, but it's not really, really rock hard like I want it to be. But you got, got the easy open lid here. I can put it right on my counter. This is what holds the tray of the ice. The ice comes out of here. And I'm gonna put my water in here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do that right now. Put my water in here. It usually holds about 12 cups of water, y'all. If y'all wonder how much water it holds. Like I said, I'm gonna just use tap water with this. And I'm gonna put, like I said, put the description of the video. I mean, put the, all the pricing and all that in the description of the video. And this company is very reputable. You got bartenders, homemakers, everybody use RW Flame Ice Maker. That's the name of the company. RW Flame, very reputable company. Been around a while and they have awesome stuff. And they have a, another ice maker. I'm gonna put a link, I don't wanna confuse y'all. They got one that's 70 bucks too. 
So I'm gonna put that in the description of the video also. And it's got a line in here that say max, and it'll kind of tell y'all. Move this up where y'all can see. Go down in there. You see that line that say max right there? It'll kind of tell you when you when you don't because you don't want to overfill it. So yeah, so I put this in here. Close this down, get a nice splash of water. Ice. Set my timer. Oh, I'll cut this off here. Two hours. There we go. Two very, very user friendly. Like only thing I don't like a can of attachment to this. I wish the button was up here. Cause when you get old, you're looking down there, your back hurting. But that's the only thing. I like the color. And it's very, very well due. The only thing I kind of wish this was metal, but hey, it ain't no big deal. If you drop it, you drop it. And it got a little ice scoop right here too. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna step off. I'm gonna let this thing do its thing. We're gonna come back in about an hour and let this thing make what it make. And I'm gonna show you the finished product of the ice here. Like I said, if it's nothing else, I love it in my house. Like I said, I do my home, especially in the summertime. I might go through 44 pounds of ice in my house in summer. I'm doing homemade ice cream. I'm doing smoothies, iced tea with uh, with ice, lemonade with ice, Kool-Aid with ice. When I have a party or function in my house, this thing is working overtime. Yeah, I don't buy no bag ice. I get this thing, just keep it running all night long, and it just keeps up. Yeah, because just keep cake, cake. As more ice come out, just keep making more. Very simple, very easy. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, I've had this thing going for about an hour here. And let me show y'all what we got in here. Look at this. All this ice in here. And this is what I like to do. Now, this is the smaller version of ice, y'all. They have a bigger one. I like this size because it fits. I have another one, like I say. And if you go online, let me get my uh, lemon tape, y'all. I always have my strawberry lemonade. I need to do a video on it. That's what I keep in the refrigerator over the summertime. But I love it with my, my crushed ice. Look at this. Tell me that ain't refreshing. Hold on, let me get a drink before. Mm. Yeah, that's a little strawberry lemonade that I make. Keep my refrigerator in the summertime. But like I was saying, you go to their website and the product code is uh 25 percent off if i didn't tell you how much it is it's 25 percent off product code and they have one at 70 dollars i'm gonna put all that in the link description of the video rf rw flame rw flame that's the name of the company and like i say y'all we'll just cut off i should cut it off this comes out of here and you can pour this in the in another container and just keep going. Also, there's a drain plug underneath this to drain all the water outside of it. Another thing, make sure, like I said, I clean mine, at least every, depending on how much I use it, every two weeks, you can do once a month, but they prefer, I've already used it before y'all, so I didn't do the cleaning before. When you first get it, I suggest you clean it for at least 20 minutes. You got a clean cycle on here. You push it, hold it down five seconds, it's a clean cycle. It's all in this instruction manual, y'all. Instruction manual, do I have this still in here? I don't have instruction manual, but it's all in the instruction manual. It's very, very, it's just three parts to this thing. You got the machine, the basket, and the ice scoop. Very user friendly. It's, it's If I can figure it out, anybody can. Like I say, just two, two buttons on here. One for clean, one for ice, and then the timer and it'll stop and the thing will stop when it gets full completely full it'll stop making ice but yeah y'all you want to share this with y'all something that i use on a, a daily basis i have two like i said this one and then the one that makes bigger ice and just go around the website there and it'll show you different the different types so you got the one the small ice like this and then it got a bigger one. But this is perfect for when I do my homemade ice cream. It goes in the ice cream cooler a lot easier than having to break it up. So anyway, y'all, 
Hello, old school soul food deal of the week, especially for the summertime. You know, everybody need nice in the summer. So anyway, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media accounts: Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. And the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old school soul food. Till next time. Have a blessed old school soul food day and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.